Electric skateboards are getting lighter, smaller and more convenient to carry around and they're becoming more and more practical as commuting options. And then there's this monster, the Epic Dominator 3200 Pro. Weighs about five tons, it steers about as sharply as an ocean liner and has four wheel drive with massive off-road tyres. It's pretty clear that the guys at Epic Skateboards weren't too worried about commuters looking for that last mile transport option because this is an absolute tank of a thing that weighs more than 30 kilos. The newest addition to this Australian company's lineup might not have the mobility of its other, other models or some of the other advanced urban transport options on the market, but what it does have is epic power. Put it this way, the Evolve skateboard has a 700 watt motor. The Epic here has an 800 watt motor on each wheel. The total power output is 3.2 kilowatts, which is a whopping 16 times the legal power output of an electric bicycle and way more oomph underfoot than you'll feel entirely comfortable with on your first half a dozen rides. These motors are powered by a 36 volt lithium battery packed into a neat little box on the underside of the deck. These monstrous 10 inch tyres have tread that wouldn't look out of place on a four wheel drive and they spin on spring loaded trucks that absorb the impact when you're headed off road. The board is operated by a gun controller. Squeezing the trigger will see the board start to accelerate and pushing it forward will apply the brakes. There's also a bunch of lights on top to keep track of your speed and also your battery levels but to be perfectly honest you'll barely even be able to see them in daylight and your attention is going to be elsewhere if you know what's good for you. Starting out in low speed mode is definitely a good idea if, like us, you haven't ridden a skateboard since you were in short pants. The board's lack of manoeuvrability is the first thing that'll hit you. With weight and power the focus here, it comes as no surprise that the thing steers like a semi-trailer. There's also no reverse, which means to turn the thing around you'll need to hop off and shuffle it around like a wheelbarrow full of bricks if you want to head in the other direction. Once you get a feel for the acceleration, it does feel quite natural. And more to the point, it's a super fun and super effortless way to get around. Once we got comfortable on the board in low speed mode, which tops out at around 20 kilometers an hour, we felt ready to take it to a place free of traffic where we could really push it to the limit. Flicking the control into high speed mode, you'll notice a difference in acceleration right from takeoff. You can go from a standing start to a nervous flying wreck in a matter of seconds, and it feels awesome. The board tops out at 42 kilometers an hour, and this is fast enough to give anyone a rush the first time they hit full throttle. Each recharge should be good for between one and a half and three hours depending on how you ride, but we did notice a little dip in power after about an hour of really pushing it. Moving at full pace, the board's bulky wheels and suspension really come into play, able to handle any bumps, sticks and stones that might otherwise bring you to a halt and send you skidding across the pavement. But stopping by choice isn't all that easy either. <laughs> you better be ready when you push that trigger forward. <laughs> so with the Dominator handling the paved, butter smooth concrete without too much trouble, we decided to head off road to see if the board was the all conquering, all terrain monster that it's claimed to be. Rough grassy hills were manageable at reasonable speeds, but heading down rugged paths required a little more care. With that said, the board was perfectly capable of riding over large rocks and small ditches and handled loose gravel or stones without a problem at all. So in wrapping up, this electric skateboard is a hell of a lot of fun, but whether it's worth the $1,700 US price tag would depend entirely on where you live and where you're going to be able to ride it. Its lack of agility means that weaving in and out of traffic is definitely out of the question, so you can rule out using it as a commuter in the city, unless you want to end up in the middle of an intersection at the wrong time. But that's not really what Epic Skateboards is trying to do here. If you happen to live near close pathways and challenging off-road or mountain terrain, then this all-powerful board might not only be a boatload of fun, but a perfect way of getting around. 